right, here we go for another round of Miniature Dork Universe with Davies. So what brings me here today? Well, I'll tell you what. I was going to make some uh, paved roads for my nerdy little games with these pieces of uh, foam rubber that I caught, cut, caught out? That I cut out. <sighs> Sick. Um, and I was just going to use some, uh, you know, powdered... Um, pastel chalks and things to add some some color to the surface and you know I thought ah, that'd be good enough you know I, I I just wanted something quick and dirty um, but then when I put the pastels on I thought well you know that looks a little bit more than good enough and then I discovered that with various tools like this you can emboss into the surface and and uh, bevel the edges at least with this I have two different foams there that I'm using because I've had them for a while. So one embosses really well. It's probably the cheaper of the two. And the other one is a bit more rubbery and it doesn't emboss well. So here's what you get with the ones that emboss well. I've put some streaks on, you know, just from the tire marks and whatever. Um, and I embossed in some cracks and ripped out some uh, potholes, um, you know, because I looked at Obviously, being the geek that I am, I looked at roads um, in Europe, and of course, they got torn up by heavy military traffic, heavy vehicles and tanks and whatever. So all of this would get cracked up in potholes pretty fast, not to men mention battle damage, but um, you probably can't really see it in the camera. But it actually has a, uh, a, a tiny bit of a texture, too, that looks a bit like... Um, asphalt and I forget what they mixed together I think the most common was was crushed stone and you know some kind of a, a, a tar but anyways like like roads do the surfaces get kind of um, they go lighter and darker and whatever so here's how we did it <clears throat> this is just our our sheet of embossed rubber they get very staticky, but you can also just rinse them off with water, which is what I did to sort of smear out my, my pastels a bit. I wanted to like wipe enough of the pastel off so that it doesn't leave a residue. So I'm going to get pastel chalk over everything. You know, once you wipe it out really well, it doesn't come off of the surface. So what I did to get um, the edges of these, I don't know if you can see it, it doesn't focus very quickly this camera but along the edges um, I wanted it to be a little bit beveled and when I pushed it down with a metal tool it kind of like cracked and actually looked like it actually looks like pavement that had been rolled out and cracked a little bit so so I just use a tool like this and just start pressing down the edges and it just starts to kind of crack as you go you have to push quite hard, but it does do the trick. And the more you distress it, God, there's cat hairs everywhere. The more it starts to look kind of like pavement on the edges. So I'm going to do this, and then once I get these edges down, we'll make some potholes with a combination of um, sandpaper and and this um, sculpting tool, I, I kind of uh, beveled down the edges and distressed them and the rubber actually does look like distressed pavement, so that's pretty cool. Again, I don't know if you can see on, will it focus in? But, uh, I mean, it's not like perfect, for sure, but it does look pretty good just for a strip of bloody foam rubber, <laughs> you know? And I imagine once they're all together in a road with, with all the uh, groundwork and buildings and whatever, it's actually going to look a little bit more than a quick expedient, I think. So, with this being done, what I do for making some potholes so I took a dental pick and I'm just going to pick away at some of the uh, foam on the surface.
So when I go through, it's not such a big deal because I'm going to take this um, acrylic gel. And this stuff has like a ceramic stucco. If you, you can buy some of that uh, Vallejo um, groundwork stuff, it'd probably do the same thing. And I'm just going to jam it into the pothole. But I'm going to try to leave some of the, the rigid piece, like the, the really ripped up pieces showing through. Because it kind of looks like uh, bits of cracked up um, asphalt. So I'm going to put those in there. And then I'm going to sort of lead a bit of this powdery shit off to look like it got maybe um, um, disrupted by some of the vehicles and pulled out of the actual out of the actual pothole. I think this road I'm going to put a crack right across the street, right, right across the entire road. Because we do see that from time to time. And you know, maybe it comes off in different directions. And you just score in the cracks with a tool. And then I will fill it in with some paint, but we'll get to that later. I'm not gonna overdo the cracks on this. I think on this I'm just gonna put the one the one crack. So maybe on the end, I'll, I'll make it a little bit more, um, gonna make it a little bit more. <laughs> so anyway, there's my crack across the street and just for fun, for this one, I'm going to put a manhole cover in. So, I have this, this is from a disc punch, and it's about the same diameter as my manhole. I think I'm going to jam that right in the center of the road. Yeah, maybe off to the side a little. I don't know. Let's see, actually, we're going to look at our composition here and <laughs> put it somewhere where it will look good. How about right here? So what I'm going to do is just press this in and just emboss, emboss a seat for that hole. I'm going to make sure that it's really embossed. Yeah. And then I have a little manhole cover here. I have to finish painting it first, but it will drop in. And I think that embossed part is going to raise up a little bit, so we won't drop that in now do the rest of our painting and we'll fire that in last. But what I am going to do, there's a little hole in the middle of the manhole cover. I'm just going to take this out. Take it out, I said. Take that out. Maybe put it back on here so I can finish the painting. And I'm going to paint that black in the middle. So it looks like when I put the manhole cover on that there's that goes into the ground. And this section of road I could put through a town or city. I've made myself a mixture of um, of burnt umber wash with burnt umber oil paint, and that's how I get my cracks in. Actually, what I'm going to do too. Here's a, another section of road that I'm working on. Um, this is with the nicer foam. Um, so yeah, it doesn't emboss as well. It's more rubbery. I think that's why it's nicer. It's not nicer for this particular <laughs> job, but it's a better quality foam. So for this, I beveled off the edges completely by sanding them down. You can just put them along, put it along one of these, uh, metal rulers or something and then just until you oh sorry how about i put it in the fucking camera davies come on okay i put it on a metal ruler la and then i took my sandpaper and and it takes a little while but it's not crazy it doesn't take like super long maxi 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 here double ugly go buy yourself a new face
blend it all together a bit. And there's that. So I'm going to do the edges of the road with the wash now. I forgot to do that before. But I'm just, I use my black for that. Like it's maybe some of the asphalt that hasn't been worn as much. The uh, the black goes on looking pretty stark, but it the washes seem to uh, disperse a little different into this material and lose some of their, their darkness a bit. But I go through too and do a bit of dry brush with another gray. Um, just so the black almost looks like cracks. I'm kind of splattering some of the black onto the rest of the pavement too, but again, I like that it uh, could be bits of oil that have fallen or pieces of the gravel that still have a lot of tar on it. Yeah, and I find it makes a nice border too. You know, you see the edge of the road and it's nice and dark. It actually looks pretty good. Whoop. Try and keep this under the camera. Sorry, I, if I strayed off, I'm watching what I'm working on, not what's on my dumb camera. I need a monitor or something that shows me. So I'm going to finish uh, with this wash and then I'll turn it back on just so that it's not getting boring for you guys. All right, I'm going to glue my manhole cover in. Uh, so I'm just going to take a bit of this here super glue, and we're going to drop it in. Oh, that was a bit overzealous, but that's okay. If there's some glossy super glue later, I'll just give it a hit of uh, gloss varnish. Okay, so we're going to just spread that evenly around in a circle. Not gloss varnish, you know, the other stuff. Matte varnish. Then I've got my manhole cover. And we're going to press that thing down with something like this. Any luck will stay and it will look bloody dope. I'm going to make these all into the same roads, and it's probably going to take some time. <laughs> but we will show you when it's done. Another good thing you can do with the uh, with the foam rubber is also you can buy these um, these adhesive road veneers that are embossed with you know stone or cobblestone, um, and I glued it on to the fucking foam. And then you've got the same thing with a road surface. And I just left it as is, but yeah, if you wanted to stain it with some of the pastel chalks or whatever, you could do that. Here I have areas where I pressed in the glue. I had to have, add a bit of extra glue and I pressed out some of the embossed areas. So I'm just going to add, you know, some dirt or something on there um, just to hide it. And it should be good. So we're going to shut it off for now, and then once all these get done, we'll show you all of them put together. Uh, 
Thanks for watching. I hope that helps you out. Um, it's a quick way to make um, asphalt roads. One last thing here, um, I bought this shelving liner um, to use, uh, I use like tackle boxes to put my models and things in so they don't get broken. And I've been using this stuff, but it's, you know, it's kind of glossy, but it has a very brick-like texture. So I mean, there's a lot of flexible things. If, if you cut that down to a roadside and then gave it a spray of, I'd use an acrylic mat probably. I don't know if I would trust putting an a enamel matte coat on that, but with acrylic and a little wash, I think it'd probably look pretty good, or even just leave it. It looks very brick-like. So yeah, I think there's a lot of stuff out there. Um, and of course, uh, cork placemats, that's what I use for some of my roads, but this is just straight up um, hobby foam or whatever it is, craft foam, foam rubber that I cut into strips. All right, that is all for now. Stay tuned for more fun-loving uh, hobby geek adventures. Bye for now. Bye for now. Until next time, keep bringing it breezy style. <laughs>